It's time now to go inside innovation. Well, we all know of the great struggle employers are experiencing in this very tight labor market. TechPoint, Indiana's tech ecosystem growth initiative, says it may have a solution. Here now to explain skills-based hiring is TechPoint Senior Manager of Career Pathways, Natalie Winsler. And welcome to the show, Natalie. Thank you so much, Gary. Okay, there's a statistic here that TechPoint, I think is very interesting, uh, saying that Hoosier employers are currently excluding 95% or more of Hoosiers they're trying to hire. Shocking statistic, what do you mean by that? Yes, that statistic is very dramatic, and here's how we get to the 95%. Nearly 80% of job postings require a degree on that job posting. The reality is only 23% of native Hoosiers have a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. So we're eliminating talent before we're even seeing them. Mm -hmm. And we know that Hoosiers have the skills. And when we think of the other elements that take people out of consideration, including saying you need a certain number of years of experience mm -hmm. or biased language on job postings, it's again, decreasing the talent pool that we know uh, skilled mm -hmm. workers have here in Indiana. So when you're talking about skills-based hiring, give us the kind of the definition, if you will, of what, that, what that's all about. Yes, we want to remove credential requirements whenever possible. That doesn't mean that we're diminishing the value mm -hmm. of a college education. We know in Indiana, in order for us to remain competitive, we need to increase the college graduation rate. Mm -hmm. We want to be mindful of the majority of jobs just do not require mm -hmm. a bachelor's degree. Then we also wanna make sure that we're being very specific of what skills someone needs in that role. Mm -hmm. And inherently, we're reducing these biases in this process because we're focused on truly the success, the success factors that yeah. someone needs to yeah. be in that role. Yeah, and, and skills-based hiring has been around for a long time. This isn't a new concept. Other states have done it. I know you and I were talking off camera, Colorado, a state that, that's doing it. What makes Indiana's approach perhaps unique? Yes, Indiana's approach is fantastic. Governor Holcomb has been pivotal in making sure that we're focused on skills-based practices, as well as mm -hmm. our our Indiana Office of Technology has removed credential requirements in their job postings as well as a, a collaboration mm -hmm. with the Indiana State Department. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you've got uh, a, a playbook. Uh, yes. TechPoint has a playbook when it comes to skills-based hiring. What are some of the things you, you, that, that employers can look at and kind of take away from this, this playbook? Yes, our playbook helps to show, well, what are the benefits mm -hmm. of taking a skills-based approach? And what are some examples as well? It shows a traditional job posting as well as a skills-based job posting. So tech companies can see, well, what skills should I be considering? And then how can I improve my job postings that I'm putting out on the market? Yeah, so TechPoint obviously really focused on the tech industry. Uh, this is part of a bigger, uh, I think, approach that y you feel can really add to the tech workforce. You think this skills-based hiring uh, concept, if it's adopted by more and more people, can really, really help fuel the pipeline. Yes, we must inclusively grow our tech workforce ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And by making sure that we're taking a skills-based approach, we're opening opportunities for underrepresented groups, people of color and women, so that they are able to be considered mm -hmm. more in the tech roles that we have available here in Indiana. Mm -hmm. I know Lilly, One America, Cummins, among companies that, that already implement this. So, so those examples, I guess, can serve as, for lack of a better term, role models for other companies. Yes, they are fantastic partners and showing the power of what mm -hmm. taking a skills-based approach looks like to improve diversity, to reduce time to hire, and to make sure that we're truly giving opportunities to all. Yeah, talent workforce, certainly uh, top level uh, challenges for the state of Indiana. Natalie Winsler is a senior manager of Career Pathways at TechPoint. Natalie, great to have you on the show. We'll talk to you soon. Yes, thank you, Gary. All right.